You know, Apple made a lot of fanfare about the speed of their new iPhones, and apparently they they delivered. Because yes, the iPhone 12 Pro and Pro Max benchmarks are in, and let's just say the A14 is actually all that. Samsung is back at mocking Apple, but it seems the whole no charger and earpod strategy is not for all countries. And even if the OnePlus 8T is already out, the company is teasing that there's still stuff in the pipeline. I'm Jaime Rivera, and this is seriously one of those days where I have no clue how it became 6 p.m. already. I thought it was 10 right now. AM. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with deals and, uh, well, even if Prime Day is pretty much over, uh, there still are some really decent ones available. The MacBook Air is currently $150 off. This leaves the entry level 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage variant for 850 bucks. Now, even if these specifications are actually really good, those of you that want more storage, there are also deals for that in the links. It's actually a checkout discount, so you'll read 50 bucks off and then you'll get an extra 100 when you check out. The 2017 10.5 inch iPad Pro is $299 off, leaving the Wi-Fi plus cellular 64 gigabyte variant for $480 shipped. I don't even know why this thing is still listed. But then finally, the Galaxy S20 Plus is $203 off, leaving the 128 gigabyte variant for $997. We also have more deals on that uh, Exynos Galaxy Note 20 that a lot of people don't really want. Marshall headphones in addition to the iPad mini in the links in the description. Now let's move on to Chromebooks, oddly. Yes, I know, but here's the thing. Uh, right now that most of us are working from home, it kind of makes sense for people to invest in these, but I had no idea that they actually have an expiration date, that there's this auto update expiration after a certain amount of time when you buy one. Once it can no longer receive any Chrome OS updates, well, that's it. Thing is, Google is now giving some Chromebooks nine years of guaranteed support, which I'm not sure actually existed before. So talk about longevity, though it might only apply to newer models. See, recently Google updated their support page and Android police noted that the latest HP and Lenovo Chromebooks that came up would get support until 2029. At the moment, it's only available for these two models and a common factor between these two Chromebooks is that they bring AMD processors. So let's see if Google adds this for more Chromebooks as it would make the experience better knowing that you'll be able to have a device for that long. Now, that being said, seriously, who holds on to a computer for nine years? Like, uh, I don't think I've gone past five and that's even with what I do. Like seriously, the first MacBook Pro that I used to edit these videos, the daily particularly with chroma effects and everything. Yeah, that one lasted five years. Now, how about if we talk about OnePlus? I mean, yesterday we saw the OnePlus 8T. We also saw the OnePlus Bud Z. Uh, yeah, OnePlus Bud Z. I'll call them that. But uh, apparently the company's not done there. They've got more products in tow. The official OnePlus handle on Weibo just announced that there will be a Cyberpunk 2077 edition of the OnePlus 8T. It will go on pre-orders on November 4th, but the problem is that it'll only be available in China. Really, we're covering it because it's the first collab after their contract with McLaren ended. So we have some hopes that we will get the limited edition coming in the future. Another thing we were expecting yesterday was the OnePlus Watch. Now the company just tweeted out a new teaser with some original sketches from the watch that date back to 2015 saying more things coming to the OnePlus ecosystem. It's just a matter of time. Say so I will probably get that with the OnePlus 9, whatever the case may be. I just hope that they price it like the OnePlus Bud Z. I'm gonna have a hard time calling those things Bud Z and not Buds, but you get the point. Now, how about if we move on to Apple or should I say Samsung? And uh, the reason why I say this is because does anybody remember this ad campaign? You know, that ad where Samsung mocked Apple about not bringing a headphone jack? Well, the same ad was removed once the Galaxy Note 10 came out with no headphone jack. Well, they're at it again. They are posting pictures of their charging bricks on social media saying, include it with your Galaxy. The caption also adds, your Galaxy gives you what you're looking for from the most basic as a charger, the best camera, battery, performance, and 120 hertz display. The real question is, how long do you think it'll take before Samsung removes charging bricks from the box? They 
pretty much already did that by removing the earbuds. And uh, speaking of that, we actually also learned that the whole earpods strategy actually doesn't apply to users in France. You will be getting those in the box. Anyways, based on the whole headphone jack story, I'm gonna give them, what, a year? Should we give them two? Uh, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments, because that's just what competition does, guys. Now let's talk about unreleased products that I really want to get because that's apparently the Apple thing lately where they announce something, but then we get it until much later or we don't get a date. Last month, Apple introduced the redesigned iPad Air, but uh, simply said that they were launching at some point in October. Well, the cellular models for this device just went through the FCC showing as usual, things like the model number and their classification. Now, we've got several rumors suggesting that we'll be getting these on Friday, October 23rd, pretty much along with the iPhone. These iPads will start at 599 with the Wi-Fi models with the cellular their model starting at 729. Now I've been using the 10.2 inch iPad for a bit. Make sure you watch that review. I'm really impressed over what that iPad can do. So can you only imagine the iPad Air with the A14 Bionic that's already being touted as being amazing for the iPhone? That's the reason why I'm going crazy waiting for it. Let's see exactly what that actually represents in iPad performance, I guess we should say. But yeah, finally, the hottest news today actually have to do particularly with that A14 Bionic and the fact that uh, it'll launch with the iPhone 12, which pre-orders begin tomorrow and how it impacts this device when it comes to performance. We have some early benchmarks that uh, belong to the iPhone 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max. These benchmarks are conducted on Geekbench and just keep in mind, all four iPhones rock the same processor. So when the benchmarks for the regular models come out, the main difference will really be just the RAM. The 12 Pro lists a single core performance of 5097 and the multi-core score of 4152. That's actually 26% faster than the iPhone 11 Pro, which listed at 1327 and 3289 respectively. Now the 12 Pro Max listed 20 to 26% faster than the 11 Pro Max did. Actually, the 12 Pro's performance is roughly in line with the iPad Air, which also brings that A14 Bionic, as we mentioned. In typical Apple fashion, Cupertino is marketing these as the fastest smartphone chips ever. And sure, we know that the new camera improvements are impressive, but usually iPhones don't really take full advantage of it, or at least not in your day-to-day -day use. And that's mainly the reason why, uh, in today's question, let us know. I mean, is the A14 Bionic a reason for you to consider the iPhone 12s? Because like, for example, there is the debate in Android where, you know, people prefer Qualcomm over Exynos, for example. Uh, do you think that this makes a difference for iPhone users or even you as an Android user? Does it make you consider an iPhone because the chip is the fastest and this and that? And let us know what you think in the comments because I'm not gonna lie, yeah, but uh, the biggest problem is that phones are still phones. Like, even if the chip is amazing, iOS still has a ton of restrictions that don't allow that chip to be amazing. That's my opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Also, follow us on social medias. Our extended coverage happens on Instagram. Follow me on my personal handles to see me, I don't know, see the day just go by. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.